Hello everyone, it's Sky here and welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you're new. Today we're going to be doing our November color along. I originally had something else planned but I was thinking the page that I had planned for November would be very fitting for February as well so I've decided to push that until February. Um, we're still going to have a Christmas color along in December and then I take a break from color alongs for the month of January. We usually do colored page videos and like maybe like channel update videos and whatnot in January. Um, I just don't commit to a color along because it's it's nice to have a break, take at least a month off throughout the year. Um, and also because November is, or sorry, December is usually very chaotic with Christmas and stuff and it's always super busy at the store and it's just really hard to commit to having a color along for the following month. Um, so yeah, our November color along is going to be a little bit different than I had originally planned. This is going to technically be a secondary Halloween color along. Um, I've been wanting to do this as a bonus color along, but just haven't been able to pinpoint some extra time. So I figure I'm going to change it and we are going to do a second Halloween color along for the month of November. Um, yeah, and we'll do it as our main one. So unfortunately, this color along is not going to be for everyone as we're using markers. And I know a lot of you that follow my channel are mostly pencil users are mostly colored pencil users. So um, we're going to be using the Ohuhu markers. So the sets that I have, okay, so I have this set here, the 100 sets. Um, this is just the chisel point and the fine tip. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus here, probably because of the glare on my phone. But anyways, yeah, I have the the hundred set, and then I also have, and then I also have the forty eight pastel uh, brush and chisel tip ones. So I'm gonna be using a mixture of these together, kind of thing. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna use. Coloring with markers is quite a bit different than coloring with colored pencils. I find I'm definitely not going to say that I am an expert or professional at it at all, and I probably don't color with them properly. I've kind of. Um, adapted my own way of coloring with them and that's how I do it and I will explain and talk through the process just like I do with colored pencils um, but I do work with markers very quickly I feel like I need to in order to blend again I don't know if I actually need to or not but that's just the way that I do it so using color swatches even if I had any made would not be very feasible so what I'm going to do is as I'm going through, I'll keep track of the markers I use and then I will have something like along the side here that will show the color combinations for each and then I will tell you which marker I'm grabbing when I grab it kind of thing and that's going to be, that's going to be how I'm going to have to do it. So a while ago I posted, I don't know if it was a video, maybe a speed color or what it was. Um, but I did have people asking if I would do a video on it. Maybe I just posted my picture to Instagram. I'm not too sure. But I turned a Hannah Lynn character into a horror movie character. Um, and I did have quite a few people asking me to make a video on it. So I definitely planned on doing it. So the first one, let's see, the first one that I did was from Enchanted Faces. And I did Geisha as the grudge. I had so much fun with her. So that's how she turned out. And then the second one I did was in Sweet and Simple Whimsy Girls and I colored Mimi as Pennywise. This one was another one that was so much fun to color. And today, as you can probably already tell by the thumbnail and the title of this video, we are going to be coloring Sunny as Jigsaw. I don't know if that's his actual name. I think he has a, an actual like human type name, but I think Jigsaw what he, is what he goes by in the Saw movies. I'm not too sure, but I think she would be perfect. So there's going to be a little bit of drawing, not too much. Um, I think she's going to be perfect for this one. I have everything mapped out for her. The background I'm a little bit uncertain about, but we will probably tackle that last. And yeah, with that, we're just going to dive right on into it. Thank you. 
Okay, hopefully we're good here. I've zoomed in. I'm gonna try and keep her right here. That way we can have some information kind of overlaid on the left here. Um, I cleaned the camera lens on my phone, so hopefully it's not blurry. I find sometimes dust kind of sits on the lenses over time, so if I don't clean them off, um, it kind of affects the quality of the picture. Um, I got a little bit of wine here, which I'm gonna take a sip of. I have my clipboard here and I have my book kind of positioned there. That way it lays flat and open so I don't have to constantly hold on to it because it's super annoying. And yeah, let's go ahead and start. So I think what we're going to do is I'm just going to pull up a reference of Jigsaw, which um, I don't think I'm going to put on the screen. I will try to remember to leave a link maybe to the one that I'm using. Not that it should really matter, but... Let me just grab my link here and send it to myself. That way I have it. Okay, so we will definitely need a pencil. I'm just gonna grab my black wing pencil here because I love this pencil. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna create a little bit of like a puppet line here for her mouth. And then the other thing that we need is the spirals. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start here on her cheek and I'm just gonna start drawing a spiral. I'm gonna keep them a little bit wide and my reasoning for that is because we want the spirals to be fairly thick. So maybe like that. And then this one's gonna go the opposite way. I feel like that's maybe not even. I think this needs to be a little bit lower. Let's try that again. So roughly maybe here, I think. Okay, those go up fairly high. We can bring that up a little bit higher there. Doesn't look like it quite matches. We can just keep redrawing this in until we're happy with it. Just gently erase. made it the same it's supposed to be opposite this one's hard because her face is a little bit turned here so it's just kind of throwing me off so this one starts this way this one needs to start this way like that okay I am happy with that that's literally it that's all we have to add for drawing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take I'm gonna take a fine liner here. I have a 0 0.05. This is a pigment liner. You can use whatever you have. A um, 0.1 is totally fine too. You can make it thicker if you want. I don't know if I want it thicker, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a thin line, and then after we have things colored, if we want to make it more prominent, then we can. So we'll start thin. We can always thicken it up later. It shouldn't take long to dry, so I'm just going to go in and gently start to erase. Okay, so I think the first thing we should do is work on her face. So I have some colors here for her face. I'm gonna start with the shadows, I think. So using the brush side, 
This is the um, CG050, the neutral gray 05. I'm just gonna come in and add some shadows here. Definitely want a shadow on the puppet part. I'm gonna maybe bring this down. Shadow here, here. A little bit of a stronger shadow on this side, probably. So kind of like that. And then we're gonna go in with the CG020, neutral gray 02. Is that the one I want? No, I don't think it is. No, it's not. Okay, hold on here. I have these mixed up. Okay, the next one we want is the GG020. So this is green, gray, O2. This is the one I want. So I don't know. When I color, I always go over the shadowed part and bring out the highlighted part. Don't know whether we actually have to do that, but that's what I do. So I'm just going to bring this out a little ways. It's going to be a little bit hard to blend because I'm working with different tones of gray. So the first one was a neutral gray. This is a green gray. I'm just working with what I have. I don't have a big repertoire of markers, so just kind of winging it, to be honest. Okay, I'm going to go back in with the neutral gray 05. So this is the same one that we used before. I'm just bringing that out slightly more into the gray green to kind of help mix the two together. Okay, our next one, again going to a different tone of gray, is the BG050, which is cool gray 05. And same thing. I'm just gonna pop this in here. Think. Let's just go over everything with this one. Okay, so let's go back in with our green gray and I'm just gonna bring this out and down a little bit. Maybe add a little bit of a shadow here. Back in with the cool gray. Just color that in. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the neutral gray 05. I'm gonna create a little bit of a nose here. A little bit of a Cupid's bow. Maybe make these shadows just a little bit more prominent again. It's definitely not marker paper, so we don't want to oversaturate it because it will kind of start to peel and look funny. Okay, back in with the green gray. Um, yeah, and then let's go back in with the cool gray. 
I think this one, yeah, I'm going to pop this over everything again. I think that's probably good there for now. So let's move on to her lips. So for this, I'm using the 100 set of Ohuhu um, broad and fine tips. I'm just gonna use the fine tip here. So I'm gonna start in with my darkest one, which is number one. These ones, unfortunately, don't have color names. I'm just going to add a little bit on either side of her lips here. I have these ones all mixed up too, I think. So one, 11 is next. So I'm going to go over the one and come out with the 11. And then this one, let's skip to the 13. We'll go over with that. We're going to grab our black, which is our 120. And I'm just going to color the inside of her mouth black. Just going to make it a little bit more creepy. Okay. The eyes are also black around the pupil, so we're gonna do that. So we're just gonna create a line kind of coming down here. Or sorry, around the iris is black, not pupil. Sparkles. Okay, so for the eyes, we go. Start with the number one around the edge. Then we'll add the 11. It's so going over the number one and dragging it out a little bit. And then 14. I think we'll finish it off with that. I'm just gonna color everything in. We will add a pupil later on. It's just gonna color over this whole area to help it blend. And then for the swirls, I think, I think we'll just go in with the 14. We'll see what that does, because I think it'll show up a little bit darker since we have that gray behind it. I think that'll be good. I'm just trying to decide if I'm happy with her face, and I think I do want to add um, just a little bit more to it. So I'm going to go back to the neutral gray 05. Um, and again, I'm just going to Kind of distinguish these shadows a little bit more. I'm okay if they look a little bit harsh. This is going to be more like comic book style because I'm not very good with markers yet, but it should turn out pretty good. These grays definitely don't really work well together, but I think it's okay. The more you go over an area, the darker it's going to be. So I'm just going to make sure these shadows are nice and dark. Okay. 
Let's also go in with the green gray a little bit too. Okay, and then for this one, I'm going to grab CG020, which is green grade two. I don't believe we've used this one yet. Okay, and this one, I'm just going to go over everything with, and that'll kind of help blend everything together. It's a little bit of a lighter color, so it shouldn't add too much darkness to it, but it should help blend. Okay, I do want to darken up some of the red a little bit more, so I'm going to go back in with the one. Just gonna redistinguish the red in the eyes here. And then let's go back in with the 11. Okay, we use the 13 for the lips. And then I think we just did the 14 for the eyes. I'm not sure, maybe we did the 13 too. I'll do both just in case. So this is still the 14. And then I'm gonna go over with the 13 as well. Okay, with the 11, let's start putting in this pattern. So I'm just gonna very carefully kind of trace it. And then we can kind of decide from there, do we want it darker? I think we do. I'm gonna go in with the one right over top of that. We're gonna mix the colors together. I like that. Let's make this a little bit thicker. Yeah, that's better. I'm gonna create, I'm gonna still have the one, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a kind of shadow right underneath the eyes here. And then let's go in with the 13 on here. It'll help lighten some of it up a little bit. About a little bit more of that red tone. Okay, and then I'm going to switch back to the CG050, the neutral gray 05. Just on the inside of this, let's darken this up one more time. Just on the upper eyelid here, too, I think. There we go, that's better. I like that. Looks pretty creepy so far. Hopefully she turns out okay. The eyes are very dark, but his eyes are extremely dark, so that does make sense. Um, okay, so we're only half an hour in. I don't think this page will take too long. It's pretty small, working with markers is fairly quick. Um, one thing I want to do, I'm going to take the 13, the dots on her dress here. We're going to make these red. So I'm just going to take the 13 and color those in. 
And then I'm going to take the one, so just add a little bit of a shadow on the bottom left corner of the dots. Then we can go back in with the 13 and kind of blend it together. Oh my goodness, I should have done her shoulders the same time I did her face. I was not thinking of that. Okay, we need to do her skin too. Let me just reorder these. Um, CG050, GG, PG, and then this one, okay. So starting with the neutral gray 05, go in and add our shadows. I guess we'll just keep building this up until we make it match. I don't know what I was thinking. I just totally forgot that skin existed, I guess. Want the neck to be fairly dark. Okay, switching to green gray two. Going backwards to the neutral gray five. I'm gonna go over that one more time and just bring it out a little bit more into the green gray to help them blend together. Um, now cool gray 05. Then bring that backwards onto all of it. We'll go back in with the green gray two. We'll bring that in just a little bit over the blue. And then we can go back in with the cool gray five, blend back into that. Okay, for the rest of the shirt, I'm just going to take my 120 black and I'm just going to color that in. Nothing fancy. I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to so much go by time for these parts. We're just going to do them in parts. So I think we'll stick to her face, like what we have going on here. Part two will probably just be hair and then part three will be background and final touches. Um, so this will only be a three part page, but I think it should turn out pretty good. Okay. Left the background for a little bit. It should be dry for the most part. So we're gonna go back through our colors. We're gonna do another layer and that should help make it match because right now you can definitely see that this is lighter than the face, which I mean is okay because I imagine that her face is kind of being covered a bit by her hair, like her hair is going past her face, which would cause more shadows. Um, but I do want to try to have everything match. So I'm gonna grab the neutral gray 05 again and we're just gonna build up these layers. And I'm just going to work the layers in the exact same as before. Okay, green, gray, O2. And now they're already blending a little bit better because we have that initial layer in there. And then cool gray five.
Okay, we're gonna take our 120 marker. And we're gonna color in the pupils, which is really gonna help kind of darken and lighten the eyes at the same time, I guess. I do think I wanna outline this. I know on Jigsaw himself, it's not outlined. And also his face is like way lighter. I went very dark for her face, um, which I'm okay with. I want her face to be really dark. And once we do the hair, I don't think it'll look as dark. I just, I didn't have the colors of gray that I would have liked for this. I'm just kind of using what I have. So definitely limits us a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna grab, I'm going to grab an 01 fine liner. This is a Stapler pigment liner. I, I do really like my, I guess this is STA pigment liners. They're not just called pigment liners. They are, according to the back, these ones are Kisoto black micro pen fine liners. I just bought these off of Amazon, so they're probably like a really cheap knockoff brand. Unfortunately, the point one came cracked. I tried to tape it, but it ended up drying out. I keep it in here for OCD purposes, but if I'm using a point one, then I have to use my Stetler ones. So I'm just gonna very carefully, I don't know if no one will be enough. Just gonna very carefully outline. The red. Hmm. Don't know. I think I do want it a little bit darker. Okay, let's skip to, I'm gonna skip to a point three. Let's try this. Yeah, that's better. Much better. I don't, I was playing around with the idea of adding like a shine to her eye, but I don't know if I want to. I think it might be better to just kind of leave it dark. I am going to take the a neutral gray five and I'm gonna darken up under her neck and here a little bit more. And then like before, I'm gonna use this neutral gray O2 to kinda help blend that out. There, but I think that's it for this part. Um, I don't know, his face is kind of shiny. Maybe it would be good to add a little bit of white highlights, but I'm a little bit uncertain. So he's got a little bit of shine on these parts of his cheeks and then a little bit of shine in, in his eyes because they're like, they're glass, I'm assuming. 
I also don't know if red marker will still make pen bleed. Like, I mean, white pen, when you put it over red pencil, it'll kind of bleed through and turn the pen white. I don't know if that happens with this either. Let's, so I'm going to put like a little spot here. I'm going to use my finger to smudge it. So that way it's not super opaque. Very lightly go over her lips here. And then just using my reference as a reference. You know, because that makes sense, <laughs> obviously. Let's add a little bit. Of one right here too. There, I think that looks pretty cool actually. I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, so that's gonna be it for part one. Um, I apologize if this is a little bit chaotic. I'm not very used to doing. I should say I'm not very used to coloring with markers in general. I don't. I haven't colored with them a lot. I've done a few, and I feel like it's good, but I feel like it's a lot more chaotic in like trying to explain, and the process to me is a bit more chaotic the way I do it. Um, but hopefully, it's um, at least fun to watch. If you guys aren't following um, <laughs> or find it hard to follow, I hope it's at least entertaining and hopefully a little bit educational. Yeah, I hope you're enjoying the process so far, and hopefully I will see you guys back in part two. As always, take care, and hopefully I'll see you next time. All right, guys. Bye.